What's up, it's Haven. Um, today I was thinking I was gonna show you guys how to do something on Photoshop. It's something I do, um, the borders on pictures, the white borders, kind of makes your feed look like this white wall with all your pictures and I think it looks really nice. And it's something that a lot of um, photographers used to do. Um, it's not so big of a trend anymore, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do that and how you can do it too. All right, so you're gonna wanna jump on your computer I'm using a Mac and I still would say a Mac is the best computer you could use if you're a photographer or whatever with photos because they just transfer to your phone so easily and it's nice. <clears throat> Alright, so you're going to want to open up Photoshop. I already had it open and then you're going to want to pick out the file that you got that you exported from Lightroom. Here, I have a couple. So first we're going to do this little black and white one. So you're just gonna drag and drop that in. Easy and wait for it to load. All right, then it's gonna load up and you're gonna see all this stuff, all these crazy buttons and no idea what it means. And, um, basically, you just wanna make sure that it says background right here in the corner. And then you're gonna to want to go to image, go to canvas size, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure the canvas extension color is white. Um, you could play around with it, get a different um, get a different color. Maybe you wanna do like a yellow or a blue or something for your feet. It's whatever you want. So then what I do is I usually make them squares. So you're going to want, I would add an inch to the biggest number so 26 and then make the height that same number and you're going to click OK and wait for it to load up and then you have this picture here with the white borders and then you can click the share button and airdrop it to your phone and post it on the gram. Now here I'm going to show you how to do it a different way with a portrait photo. So this is portrait mode, but a landscape picture. So same thing, I want to make sure it's background over here. It's usually going to be that way. I'm going to click image. Then you're going to go to canvas again and find the biggest number and add an inch to it. So 24.3, let's do that 24.3 and then change the second one to that same 24.3 and then click OK load up and there it is your square picture and you can airdrop it to your phone and yeah so there's another way I like to do it with portrait photos um, to make them five by four because that is the crop size for the biggest picture possible on Instagram so for this one I'm going to use a picture of my friend Brittany what you're gonna want to do or you want to do the same stuff make sure it's, make sure it's on background Go to image, canvas size, and then you're going to want to find, uh, add an inch to the biggest number. So right here is 25, so 26. And then you're going to want to calculate it out. So 26 on my phone calculator, calculator 26 divided by 5 equals 5.2. Then you want to times that number by 4. So it turns out to be 5.4. So then it says the, an the answer is 20.8. I don't know if you can see that, but 20.8, so then I'm going to put that in there, 20.8, and then press OK. And then it's not a square, it's 5 by 4 image. So this is the crop size that um, Instagram uses. So then you can make that bigger photo, and on your feed though, you gotta you got to think about this, is it's going to cut off some of the top because it's not a square and it won't fit in the feed perfectly. So it's going to cut off the top and it's going to blend in with the other white stuff. But once you, if all of your feed is like this, if all your feed has the white borders and stuff, it's going to look nice. And that's, that's uh, what I do. So yeah, just do this, export it, post it. And no matter what, if your photos are like kind of different and you are kind of having trouble um, keeping a theme to your photos or your feed, um, the white borders helps a lot 
just because it just kind of links them all together. So it's what I'm doing until I can maybe find a better path I can I can go on and then keep a keep a theme for my feed for there. But haven't found it yet, so I'm gonna keep doing this this border thing. So I hope you learned something. Um, see you guys in the next video.